are now under my control. At least they will be very soon. The Transalot, I'm sending you back to September 10th, 1842, to the town of Tombstone, Arizona. Tombstone? It does have a nice ring to it, doesn't it? You are to capture Marshal Clint, Jake's great-grandfather. Bring him to Haunt Quarters. Sir Trancelot will not fail you. With Jake and his family in my power, <laughs> I will wreck the Ghostbusters, and then... <laughs> Your great granddad had to stop gunfights and catch cattle rustlers? That's right, back in the old west. I have a photograph of him taken in 1844. Let's see, was it under G for great? <laughs> oh, I was expecting that. <laughs> This photograph is over a hundred years old. Uh, what's this writing across the bottom? There shouldn't be any writing there. To my great-grandson, Jake. Thanks, Marshal Clint. This writing wasn't there before. I wonder if this is Eddie's idea of a joke. <laughs> Here we are in Tombstone, Frightmare. Back in the days of the cowboys and Indians. Let's go find the marshal. for us. Here you are, Marshal. Well, strawberry soda. Oh, thanks, Sam. Hey, where's the Marshal? Uh, hey, Marshal? Marshal, you gotta come quick. Calm down, Wally. What's the trouble? Well, there's a stranger just come into town. He didn't have no skin, Marshal. And he was carrying what looked like a big rifle. Bigger than a buffalo gun. A rifle, huh? Should have said that first. I don't like folks carrying guns. Why don't you show me where you saw this stranger? Oh, no, Marshal. No, no. You will catch me going out there. All right, Wally. I'll find him myself. Just make sure he don't find you first. That's right, Marshal. Come this way. Evening, stranger. I'm Marshal Clint. You're welcome here. But the law in Tombstone says no guns. I'm gonna have to ask you to come on out here where I can see you. You want to see me, Marsha? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> what? What kind of thing are you? Oh, the ghost kind. Say good night, Marsha. <laughs> When you wake up, you'll have the pleasure of meeting Prime Evil himself. Mm. Wake up, Marshal! 
Welcome to Haunt Quarters, Marshal. Who are you? I'm known as Prime Evil. I have decided to invite you to work for me. I have a job. Yes, I know. Marshal of Tombstone. But I'm giving you a new one. <laughs> Werewolf of Tombstone. What? Werewolf. From this day forth, you will prowl the streets of Tombstone on four legs. <laughs> You're plum loco. Am I, Marshal? Look at your hands! I'll be what's happening to me. Jake has been telling me about his great-granddad, Marshal Clint. Marshal of Tombstone? Yeah, he was quite a guy. You didn't happen to write something on a photograph of him, did you, Eddie? Write something? No, why? It looks like some wise guy was... Oh, no! He's changing. He's turning into a werewolf. Dad, where are you? Dad. Dad, there's something I have to show you. Dad? What? What are you doing out here? I don't know, son. I had the strangest feeling. I had to come out and look at the moon like a... like a werewolf? Why, yes. But how did you know? I think you better come inside. Prime Evil is doing something to our family. Something bad. See? Here, great-granddad Clint is changing into a werewolf. And so is grandfather Noah. I'm going back to Tombstone to help great-granddad Clint. How much time do we have? I don't know. A couple of hours, maybe. Then I'd better get moving. The future of the whole family depends on you, son. I won't let us down, Dad. Come on, gang, go home. Good. Ghost pack, dematerializer, canteen, rope. What else will I need in Tombstone? How about us? What? Look, we know what's going on, Jake. We phoned your dad and he told us the whole story. Then you know why you can't come with me. Sure. You're afraid you'll turn into a werewolf on us. Jake, we're your friends. We want to help. Tracy has come up with something. A new gizmo? Come on, Tracy. You can't stop a werewolf with that. It's what you might call an anti-gravity device. Hey, Trace, show how it works. If you start to turn into a werewolf, all I have to do is push this button and... Hey! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you made your point. Now let me down. Coming down. <laughs> I'm only trying to protect you. Hey, we know, pal. And when a friend and his dad are in trouble, you have to help. Okay, friends, and thanks. <laughs> Very funny, Eddie. Come on. Let's go, guys! <laughs>
having such a beautiful dream. I was working for an old lady who only drove me on Sundays and... GB, we'd really like to hear about your dreams, but we do have a bit of an emergency here. <laughs> when isn't it an emergency? <laughs> in time and help great granddad Clint fight off prime evil. Hit it! There's nobody here. It's a ghost town. Yeah, prime evil's favorite kind of place. What's that? Someone's in there. Let's go. Timer, we're not gonna hurt you. Oh, you're not ghost. Let him go, Tracy. He won't run away. Okay. What's got you so scared? <laughs> the evil dog. He comes out at night. He's talking about a werewolf. Fr frightened all the folks away. We're looking for Marshal Clint. Oh, he disappeared the night of the full moon two years ago. Went out looking for a stranger on a horse. Faces all bone and teeth. Sounds like Sir Trancelot. Tracy, check your computer and tell me the date of the full moon two years ago. <laughs> September 10th. Then that's the night we're looking for. Let's go. Let's get to the ghost buggy and... Uh-oh. The werewolf! Oh, what are we gonna do? I have an idea. Get behind me. Marshal Clint, I know you are Marshal Clint of Tombstone. <laughs> We've come to help you. We're going back to the night Sir Trancelot kidnapped you. <laughs> you stay here and don't worry. You're not going to be a werewolf much longer. Oh, can it wait until morning? Oh, my! What's that? That's a monster with big teeth. And if you don't get moving, they're gonna be clamped onto your tailpipe in about 10 seconds. Well, all you had to do was ask. That's right, Marshal. Come this way. Marshal Clint! Who's that? Oh, evening, boys. Ma'am? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is our friend Tracy. And this is Eddie, Jessica, and I'm Jake Kong. Jake's your great-grandson, and we've come here from the future to warn you about that stranger you're looking for. He's not what you think he is, sir. Yeah, he's a ghost, and he's going to turn you into a werewolf if he gets you. Boys, 
I think you've been out in the hot sun too long. Wait for me at the marshal's office. I won't be long. Marshal Clint, we can't let you go out there. You'll put our whole family in danger. What's keeping the marshal? Evening, stranger. What's the matter, Sir Trancelot? Cat got your tongue? What? Surprise! So, it's you. Well, I guess one man's as good as another, especially if he's a, a ghostbuster. My translance! Your troubles have just begun! What? That's our new ghost rope. Works pretty well, huh? Let me go! Well, I'll be. I guess you young folks really did save me. Sorry we had to lock you up. But ghost busting is a pretty tricky business. Jake, I want you to have this photograph as a reminder. Terrific! To my great grandson Jake, thanks, Marshal Clint. Now we know where the writing came from. I'm sorry you can't stay. I'd like to hear more about life in the future, especially that uh, TV thing. Sounds real interesting. Maybe we can come back and visit. Anytime, Eddie. <laughs> something different. Uh, maybe a musical. Sure. There's a good one coming to the miniplex. The Dancing Vampires. May I have this dance? <laughs> <laughs> Jake Kong, you're such a tease. Yeah, but if it weren't for my friends, I'd be a werewolf. <laughs> 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 Remember when Jake thought he had to save Marshal Clint all by himself? He didn't want to put the other Ghostbusters in danger. And when a friend and his dad are in trouble, you have to help. Friends are people you can count on when you need them, and they're people who can count on you, too. shall not succeed. Leave this place at once, or face the wrath of Wudan. I'm getting out of here! That's it. Run and tell them. Tell them all. Tell all of them who would destroy my jungle. Tell them 
that they shall all face the wrath of Udan. Hey, Eddie, check out Tracy's latest invention. Well, what are they? Ghost cuffs for taking ghosts prisoner. Wow, neat idea, gnarly. Do they really work on ghosts? Naturally. Well, they, they work on me anyway. Can't get this off. Give me the key. Key? Uh -oh. oh, no. Don't tell me you forgot to make a key. Sorry. Sorry, I don't need sorry. I need a key. Calm down, Eddie. Maybe we can... Oh, wait, the answer phone. You reached the Ghostbusters. Unfortunately for you. Knock it off. Ghostbusters, Jake Kong here. Really? A voodoo monster, huh? Well, don't worry. We'll be right there. Got a job, guys. A voodoo monster is scaring off the workers on a construction site in Africa. It was a dark and stormy night, and there was no moon. And then they heard a voice. Who goes there? They looked about, but it was too dark to see anything. What shall we do? They asked each other. But before they could decide, there was a flash of light and a crash of thunder. And a giant ghost appeared. Wow, a giant ghost. The giant looked down at them. How dare you come into my house? And as he spoke, the ground shook. I'll teach you to... I say, old boy, mind if I sit in? How dare you interrupt me when I'm reading a ghost story? You will leave now. Perhaps I can help you. Uh, no, no, I was just... Did you just leave <laughs> Now then, my little one. Where? <laughs> this is most interesting, Bretelrat. What is so masterful maiden of misery? This! Is Voodoo, the Voodoo Monster. He possesses certain jungle powers that might be very useful to me, so I must have them. Right, right, right. At your service, your preponderance. Find Haunter and Scared Stiff. Tell them they're going to Africa. I want Voodoo captured so that I may transfer his powers to myself. As you can see, there isn't a worker left. Uh, a Voodon has frightened them all off. I sure hope you guys can do something. We're way behind schedule now. What are you building here? This. A modern African vacation resort. A big steel and glass hotel. Swimming pool, sauna, the works. Sounds nice. I like the waterfall. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. It was here already. We're gonna tear it out and put in a concrete tennis court. Oh? Seems a shame. So beautiful. What does this Voodoo look like, anyway? Well, uh, it's hard to describe. Uh, it looks kind of, uh, well, uh, kind of like, uh, like that. Get out! Good idea. <laughs> Place. 
Forget it, Buster. You're busted. Yeah. It didn't work, Jake. Futon's not a ghost. <laughs> Himself to Futon. <laughs> oh, great! As if we didn't already have enough troubles. There, there is Futon. Get him, my evil legion. Uh, uh, my magic works only in the jungle. Must get back. Yeah, hey, hey. Futon's running off with Eddie. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't let him escape! <laughs> we gotta help Eddie! Rat! Those ratted ghost bunglers are here also! And I'll take care of them! Ah, at last, the jungle! The power of Udon! Whoa! Looks like it's a bigger party than we expected, Tracy. But the dematerializer should thin it down some. And then again, maybe it won't. Uh-oh. Here comes Tornado. Do something! Real mode! I don't like the looks of this! Me neither. So, Ghost Bobos, I came here to get food on, but as long as you're here, I'll take care of you too! Huh? Hang on! GB, you were just in time. Uh, about time I was appreciated around here. The Ghostbusters are getting away, you upstreppers. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Let them. I am concerned only with Voodoo, which reminds me after him. <laughs> and don't come back until you've captured him. <laughs> Looks like Prime Evil's given up. We got away clean. Yes, but we still have a big problem. Eddie's still down there, somewhere. And he's still in big trouble. Centuries. Yeah, you should vacuum every once in a while. My home, where food is always close at hand. Hey, thanks. I'm starved. This is the place you humans would destroy. This paradise on Earth, ruined by those humans and their destructive, foul-smelling machines. Now, just a cotton picking minute. Those guys were just building a hotel, and you were destroying their equipment. They were destroying my home. That's no excuse for them. There he is. There's Futon. Looks like you're popular today. Those ghosts again. Well, I shall deal with them. <laughs> That 
Chun. You can't stop us, Fudan! No, but I can! Oh, I'll stuck you! That'll hold him for a while. Now, let's go find my buddies. No! Though I am grateful for your help against those ghosts, I cannot forget that you and your friends came here to get rid of me. Oh, yeah, that's right. We are still enemies, human. Remember that. Don't worry, the balance. Not likely to forget. Got the dematerializer fixed, Tracy? Almost. Nothing like that delicate touch, eh, Tracy? Wise guy. Hey, I think I spotted Eddie. Take us down, Tracy. Okie dokie. Uh, uh, I've got a rest, Fudun. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Oh, yes. I always forget that you humans must breathe being made of stone. I, of course, do not. However, we cannot rest long. My jungle magic tells me we are still being pursued. Can't your jungle magic make you invisible or something? Well, normally I could transform myself into a tree and thus be concealed. But with you attached, it would hardly be a good disguise. Sorry about that. Such is fate. In any case, Eddie, despite the fact that you are a member of the foul, disgusting, destructive, evil, and cruel human race, I've rather enjoyed your company. Gee, thanks a lot. Yes, though I love my jungle, it is often lonely. I wish that humans were not so hateful, because I would love to have someone to talk with. Come on, Voodun, we're not so bad, huh? Hang on, Eddie! We'll take care of that monster! No, Jake, wait! Leave him alone! chained to that stone monster. And though that monster doesn't need to breathe, Eddie does. If he can't get loose, he'll drown. <laughs> this is a bit of luck, Eddie. Your friends will never find me down here. We can just stay here until they go away. By the way, I really appreciate the way you try to keep your friends from attacking me, Eddie. Eddie? Oh, no! Eddie! Any luck, Tracy? <laughs> Wait, Tracy, look! Here comes Eddie! The monster's got him! Him. No! No? Huh? Help, help! I don't care what happens to me, but you must help Eddie! He stopped breathing, and I don't know how to help a human. I'll handle it. Get a blanket, Tracy. Okay, okay. You'll have to rest, but I'm surprised you came back. We've been hired to bust you, you know. I know, but I didn't care. I just wanted Eddie to be all right. I'm very attached to him. Well... Ah! Uh, getting sleepy. <laughs> What? <laughs> nice shooting, Hunter. A 
why they take over. <laughs> Those stun bolts should keep the Ghostbusters snoozing long enough for us to capture this voodoo chap. No! <laughs> take this, you ghosts! Yes, I say, but we can stop you. Here. Break free. We captured him. Prime Evil will be pleased with us. Well, there you are, you see. Jolly good. Yes, I like this. A job well done. It's done, all right. You're busted. Saved me. Well, you saved me. It was the least I could do. I suppose I should escape now before your friends wake up again. Aren't you forgetting something? Uh, besides, running around and destroying equipment isn't going to solve anything. But what else can I do? My jungle is lonely, but it's all I have. I can't let it be destroyed. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't have to be. Just leave everything to me, Voodun. I've got an idea. Positively the most beautiful hotel I've ever visited. Well, you're absolutely right, Eddie. By working with the natural scenery instead of destroying it, we were able to create this beautiful hotel. And business is fantastic. Boy, I'm glad it worked out. I must say the place is really wonderful. All this natural scenery is much nicer than steel and glass. But how did you get these plants and trees to grow so quickly? Oh, well, that wasn't odd. Meet our hotel manager. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fudan, you're the new manager? That's right, friend Eddie. And I must say, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And I owe it all to you, Ghostbusters. Especially you, Eddie. I learned today that I don't always have to fight with humans to save my jungle. That by working with them, I get what I want. And they get what they want. You have your jungle, and they have their hotel. Right. All in all, a most satisfactory existence. Yes. Ah, a most satisfactory existence indeed. <laughs> <laughs> In today's show, we met a creature named Voodun who loved the natural beauty of the jungle. Plants and trees that you find in parks and forests and campgrounds are meant to be enjoyed by everyone. They should be protected. So don't litter those public places or harm the plants. After all, plants and trees are living things just like you. And just like you, they deserve care and consideration and a right to a long and happy and beautiful life. Bye now. See you soon. Yet mysterious and somehow evil. But what do those writings say? The stone must not be removed from. It must be left where it is. Oh, it shan't be, old boy! <laughs> Who are you? Actually, haunt is the name, and this is the most profitable haunt and haunt of my life. No, not mine. You must not touch it. Of course I'm going to touch it. I'm stealing it, old chest. Put it back, put it back. It carries a curse. It carries a jolly good price tag, and I'm sick of being a poor ghost. No, stop. It must not leave the temple. Ta-ta! Bring it back! The diamond must be here for the full moon! Where are you? If 
the diamond isn't here for the full moon, then... then... Ah, oh, it's too terrible to even say! Hello, information? Could I please have the number of the Ghostbusters? You got my ham sandwich. Yours is the tuna. Okay, okay. Who ordered the banana shake, the banana burger, and the french fried bananas? I'm not sure, but I think I did. Mm. Better see if there were any calls while we were out. Ghostbusters, this is Professor von Sifflen, and here is the most important thing I've ever had to say. So listen carefully. This ghost took the diamond, and if it isn't... What? Ghost? That crazy ants of bones hung up on him. Hello, hello! This is the Professor again. If the diamond isn't back in the temple by the full moon... Maybe we better get a new answer and phone. Yeah, listen, Buster, you're not getting rid of me. Then give us the full message. All right. This is the professor calling again. Unless the diamond is there by the full moon. Ah, forget it. I'll be there in my helicopter before that thing can hang up on me again. Helicopter? Sounds like he's about to land on our building. Oh, boy, there goes our picnic. Well, let's get up to the roof. Up to the roof, Scalivator. Oh, what a ride. Now, what's all this about a ghost? Unless we get the diamond from the ghost and return it to the temple by the full moon tomorrow night, the whole Earth will be cursed. Gee, I don't like the sound of that. Then it's ghost buggy time. Let's go, Ghostbusters! It's magnificent, but a woman should have it, not a man. Hot cheese, old girl. I'm the one who tracked it into that nasty jungle and stole it. I'll settle your argument. The diamond is mine, not for its beauty, but for what I can do with its curse. Surely you don't believe that curse business, old boy. If you call me old boy again... Sorry. <laughs> My, we're testy today, aren't we? Surprise! You! You dare invade my hot quarters! Guards! We'll get out when we have the diamond! Nab it, Tracy! Okie dokie! Here, dear girl. You said you wanted it. For the moment, I've changed my mind. Ugh! I almost forgot. I'm a ghost. I needn't be bothered by Bonzo here. I'm a ghost! <laughs> There's no way you can get a hold of me. And therefore, you can't get a hold of the diamond. <laughs> it's the curse! He must turn to stone! Great! No way he can keep us from taking the diamond! <sighs> If you want it so much, take it! 
Like taking candy from a baby. Hey, now I'm the one who could be cursed any minute. Exactly. <laughs> Got a bag, Eddie? Maybe if we don't touch the diamond itself. You fools will never return it to the temple by the full moon. The world will be cursed forever! <laughs> yeah, thanks, old girl. Sorry I went to pieces like that. What are you blighters doing with my diamond? I knew it was in there someplace. Let's get out of here. <laughs> they don't have a chance. If the curse doesn't stop them, I will. a jungle at this speed, we might make it after all. And from the look of that jungle, it's a good thing we're over it. Boy, what a comfort to know that Diamond's curse doesn't work when it's in this bag. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Oh my gosh! The bag doesn't protect you from the curse at all! I'll say it doesn't! Now I've got to go through life sleeping in matchboxes! Shove the diamond onto the floorboard. Maybe if he gets far enough from it, he'll return to normal size. Thanks, Jessica. I was afraid I'd have to learn how to saddle up mice. Oh, no! Now the ghost buggy is cursed! Oh, that diamond's really hearing me down. Everybody all right? Well, if you call stranded in the jungle all right, I guess so. We are finished, kaput. We might still make it if we try. Somebody grab the curse. I, I mean, the diamond. We'll all take turns. Who's first? <laughs> Say, you bozos, what about me? You're just gonna leave me hanging? Don't worry, GP. The diamond's effects will wear off soon. We'll be back before you know it. Swell. I can't wait. Oh, this is scary. What's wrong, Jessica? A little bird would hurt you. <laughs> You're in luck, Tracy. So far, the diamond hasn't cursed you. Mm -hmm. Coming, Professor? Jessica? Eddie? Tracy? Oh, no! The curse has done it again! Oh, Tracy, you poor guy. Hey, what did you do with the diamond? <gasps> That's Tracy? I know how it feels, Trace. Poor Tracy. It's okay, Tracy. We'll get you a little bitty hat like your old one. And a little tiny ghost pack. <coughs> Tracy, what are you doing there? They're losing precious time monkeying around here. <laughs> I made a funny. Right, let's move it. Tracy, my turn to carry the curse. I, I mean the diamond. <coughs> After all, now that you're a mommy, you can't take any chances. There's no way we can cross a river with rapids like that. Besides, I can't swim. We'll never get the diamond back in time. This will be the end of the line for them. What's your evilly delicious plan? I don't need one. Those rapids will do it for me. Oh, I don't know. It looks too dangerous to try swimming it. I'm afraid you're right. And anyway, how would we get the professor across? Looks like the curse is beating us this time. <coughs> Tracy, 
Chelsea. All aboard! Aren't they clever? Remarkably. But if they can come up with a canoe, I can come up with termites! What's that noise? It sounds like chewing. The termites! Our folks being eaten up! And the water is getting wilder and crazier! We are finished! Paddle faster while there's still something to paddle! We're drifting, but I don't think we're going to make it! Those rocks! If we can jump from one to another, we can make it! No, it's impossible! Hopeless! Let's at least give it a shot! We have miles to go. The full moon is soon. If we don't make it, the world is cursed forever. That's why we've got to move a little faster. <laughs> I'm afraid it's the end of the trail, old chums. <laughs> My spear has a terribly sharp point. Your spear should be sharper. And I've got just the thing to keep it that way. Hey, old man, that's not at all spotting. Excuse us, we're in a rush. <laughs> nice going, Hunter. Now, darling, it's my turn. And that's all that will be needed. Please, I got to rest a minute. We don't have a minute, Professor. Every second counts if we're going to save the world from being cursed. Speaking of curses, I've carried this for quite a while, and so far, so good. Oh, my gosh, I spoke too soon. Ah. <laughs> there you are. With one sweep of my hand, you are all about to become jungle lizards. Get back down here immediately! Oops, sorry, lady. Here comes a diamond. Well, whatever happens, it's my turn to carry it. <laughs> that bridge will never hold us. We'll never get over that gorge. We've got to. There's no other way. Uh, say, where's Eddie? Oh, he's back there. He'll catch up. <laughs> To do it myself with that bridge. Careful, Tracy. And now, <laughs> just to make sure they won't put the diamond back in time. Hey, where is everybody? Ah, oh, they must have crossed the bridge. I'd better hurry. Huh? There's Jessica and Jake on the other side, but where's Tracy? Darn that Tracy. He ought to stay with the crew. When I see him, I'm gonna put my foot down. <laughs> <laughs> If I never see a bridge again, it'll be too soon. Uh, I can't go any farther. We're almost there. Just a little farther. 
Thanks, Tracy. Let's go. The moon's about to rise. That is the temple. Wow! At last! We made it! <laughs> oh no, look, the moon! The full moon, we didn't make it all. The whole world is cursed forever. It isn't full yet, Professor. Tracy, you're the fastest. You get the diamond inside the temple. <laughs> well, who has the diamond? Uh, what? Oh, I gave it to, uh... Was it you? I gave it to Eddie. No, I gave it to Jessica. Or was it Tracy? <laughs> Somebody's got to have it. Who? Ta-da! How did you get in there? Run, Tracy! The moon is almost full, and the temple is now... You're too late! That's it, Tracy! You can do it, Tracy! You can't possibly move that rock! Try, Tracy! Try as hard as you can! Oh, the moon! It's almost full! <laughs> oh, no! Tracy's cursed! The diamond has turned Tracy to stone! And the opening he made isn't big enough for us to get through! And look at the moon! Uh, it's all over. The Earth will be all cursed. This time, I'm afraid you're right, Professor. The monkey did it! Little Tracy Jr. did it! <laughs> Just in time! The world is saved from the curse! <laughs> Diamond can never curse anyone or anything again. Yeah. The curse of the Diamond of Gloom is gone, but there will be other times when you, go busters, will not be so lucky. It wasn't luck, Prime Evil. It was not giving up. And you can bet next time we Ghostbusters will try just as hard to stop you, and we will stop you. Come on, Tracy, wake up! Oh, I give up. Do you know, Eddie, today you Ghostbusters won out because you didn't give up. Right, Skilly. Sometimes if you try hard enough, you can get things done you never dreamed were possible. You're absolutely right. I shouldn't give up. It worked. There's always a way to solve a problem, so don't give up. If at first you don't succeed, well, try, try again. <laughs>